Which one of these clamps is the strongest? Well, that's what we're gonna find out here today. We were just working on a project where I needed to squeeze some big heavy material together and I only needed to move it a 16th of an inch. I wanna figure out which one of these can really hold the most. First up, the standard three quarter pipe clamp. These are the traditional clamp and can be found in nearly every workshop. I'm using these pipe clamps on a schedule 40 standard black iron pipe that you find at any hardware store. If you've never seen these types of clamps before, they thread onto the end of the pipe. And the moving arm has these little shims and they bind up over the pipe. And unfortunately, when they cut the threads in it, it reduces that diameter and gives a little weak point. I'm curious to see how these threads are gonna hold up under high pressure. The other problem I don't like about these is that they clock and you gotta get them perfect, but sometimes they move on you and get out of alignment. And next up is the Fireball Maximus clamp. Instead of pipe, this clamp makes use of metal tubing you can find all over your workshop or job sites. The stronger your material, the stronger your clamp. And the longer your tubing, the longer your clamp will be. The one we are using today is making use of a 1x2, 120 mild steel square tubing. The Maximus clamps are real simple. They just thread over the end. And then they bind with friction when there's force. And both feet are designed the same way. And as you can see, they capture the entire tubing without anything mechanical. And of course, since they're on something rectangular, they don't clock. They always stay pointed at each other. So I've rigged up a little experiment right here. We're going to be putting a load cell in between the clamp at a spread of 54 inches. We're going to put the load cell right here. We have an elevation off the table of two inches, and we're going to keep that the standard for everything. And we're going to see which one has the highest clamping force. Okay, let's get started. Face shield down. Gonna crank till we can't crank no more. 400, 700, 900, there's a thousand. <sighs> Getting hard to do by hand now. Whew, so that's 12 with my hands. We all know it. Let's look at the bow. Woo wee, man. This thing's got a serious bow in it at 1100. Okay, we all know we'd do it. Let's put the wrench on here and just go tell us you don't go no more. Something's gonna happen. There's 13. Something's moving. I can feel some vibration. Oh, did I break it? Let's get them off, take a look at it. Oh goodness. Broke the threads off at what, 1300 pounds. Here's what I'm concerned about, is if this happens to fail, these threads, when you're really pushing hard and you don't want it to fail, you could get your fingers pinched, this could come back and slap you in the face. Do not put a wrench on these things. This is extremely dangerous. Cause it just popped, boom, I could feel it in the handle. Let's do the Maximus clamp now. Same distance off the table. Wow, that was, that's 300 pounds really easily. Whew. Barely even turning, 500, 6, 8, 9, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000, 200, 29. Whew, there's 29 by hand with a one by two hollow bar. Let's take a look at how much bow we got in there. Okay, it's deflected 3 eighths of an inch. Now I know what you guys are gonna do. You guys are gonna put the wrench on it, even though I don't recommend it. Okay, let's just go till she don't go no more. 3,000, 32, 35, 36. I think we're at the limit here. 38, I'm gonna stop for my safety, but that's 3,800 pounds of force. Say if I were to continue to push, this is what would happen. The bar is gonna keep bending, but the pressure is gonna stay the same. This will cause the angle of the screw to deflect off of my target, slip pop off, and hit me in the face. It won't be a catastrophic tool failure. It'll be a catastrophic go to the hospital failure. But as you can see, nothing failed, nothing broke. It's a much safer design. So let's talk about a couple things. The standard three quarter bar clamp is cheaper, which is appealing to some people. But as you can see, it is definitely not stronger. So you kind of get what you pay for. The Maximus clamp is more expensive. So these arms are forged. The spindles are big, they're beefy, they're designed to be used every single day in a hardcore environment. They're all repairable. You can buy replacement spindles, feet, arms, and when your tube wears out for some reason, you can just get another one. On another note, the Maximus clamp can use two pieces of one by one or a piece of solid. That's some really heavy duty use. So the flexibility with the Maximus clamps are huge. That's why I like them over the standard pipe clamp. A little bit later, maybe we'll test a clamping force by using these three different materials and what can we expect. If you're interested in the Maximus clamps, we have them in several different sizes and even lumber clamps now. Those are pretty special. So check them out at the Fireball Tool website. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you there.